The season 18 opening credits of Grey's Anatomy inform the viewing audience that we are about to watch a fictitious, post-pandemic storyline. Although the staff of Grey Sloan Memorial will no longer be wearing face masks or working in outdoor tents, the coronavirus is still ravaging the medical community in the real world. However, our Seattle friends will no longer be navigating those particular waters in the upcoming episodes. Let's face it, these jokers have a lot to deal with without COVID weighing them down. Take Meredith, Ellen Pompeo, for example. She's a walking miracle who survived the unthinkable. And what does she have to show for it? A couple of gallbladder surgeries. At least that's what her mother points out to her in a very vivid dream. Cut to Meredith in Minnesota of all places, meeting with the state's prize tumor guy, David Hamilton, played by the impeccable Peter Gallagher. Bailey and Richard are positive Meredith is jumping ship, just like the rest of the surgical team. Meredith assures her former mentors that she is only in town to see the research library Dr. Hamilton dedicates to her mother. The trip is innocent. A jittery Bailey returns to a boardroom to continue conducting interviews to replace Tom, Avery, and Joe since she has switched to pediatrics, I assume. The candidates are a smattering of weirdos who either want too much money, don't do pro bono work, enjoy freezing people, or come from the world of reality TV. It's a big fat no from the hiring team. Grace Sloan is feeling its lack of surgeons, particularly since it's the Seattle Phoenix Fair, where anything and everything can happen. I'm assuming Teddy and Owen didn't get the message because they chose to get married in the park this weekend. The kids, Owen's mom, and even his sister Megan are in town for the big event.